This is Mayfair, fashionable symbol of London's romantic past. Here in Charles Street, with its own historical associations, it's not difficult to find buildings with an atmosphere in keeping with these traditions. Those like Lurex House, Oakley's headquarters of the De Beckman Company. For here, history has been made in the world of design and fashion by the introduction of a multi-purpose metallic yarn, Lurex. To illustrate the enormous strides that have been taken in the development of this non-tarnishing yarn and the uses to which it can be put, since its discovery 10 years ago, locally designed fabrics have been imported from all corners of the globe for the Lurex International Fair. This fabric from Guatemala is one of the South American group. Adaptations of native weaves and designs, most of which were found and brought to this country by Francoise Ferny, who organized the fair to preserve the different characteristics Lurex has developed in different countries. One aspect of the fair is contained in an exhibition within the exhibition, as it were, with seven apartments laid out in the format and style of a typical American country or city home to illustrate the many domestic uses of Lurex. In the same theme, a display of fabrics for automobile upholstery demonstrates the extremes to which the yarn can be utilized. At the other end of the scale, for its decorative value alone, Lurex is today being woven into rugs, table linen and even pillows. Like some strange, nightmarish world of shadows and sudden brilliance, this is the fantasy creation of designer Robert Little to emphasize the essentially glamorous qualities of metallic yarn. For glamorous and luxurious it is, either alone, like shimmering gold or silver, or interwoven with any other natural or synthetic fiber known to man. Notice how Lurex can be used to enliven the sheerest silks and nylons, in brocades and velvets, in fact in every type of dress material. For example, this evening coat to which Robert H. Gregory, Vice President of the Overseas Division, makes last minute adjustments, is also silicone proofed. For the fashion display to follow, compare Ben Lyon makes a few notes. For apart from collecting the usual statistics women expect, Ben adopts a fresh approach to the subject, including one or two ideas of his own in an informal and light-hearted commentary. Incidentally, while we're waiting for the fashion show, for those who are interested in technical data, Lurex metallic yarn itself consists of a very fine aluminium ply sandwiched between two very fine plastic plies and bonded together with a special adhesive which doesn't detract from the brilliance of the yarns. A colorless adhesive produces a silver yarn, which is of course the color of the aluminium core, while a colored adhesive can produce anything from gold to bright jewel colors, bronze or copper, or even opaque porcelain colors. In addition, several colors can be mixed in one yarn. In the dressing rooms, some of the loveliest models in the world prepare for the show. To preserve the authenticity of the atmosphere, the girls have been brought to England to model the various national costumes. A small point, perhaps, but one that emphasizes the lengths to which Mrs. Fernie has gone to present an accurate interpretation of the development of Lurex in all parts of the world. From the Far East group comes this Indian native dancer's costume made up in England with fabric from Benares. From Thailand, another native dancer's costume, created for the occasion by the same designer, Monty Berman, from fabrics bought in Bangkok. And completing this study in traditional design from the Far East is this beautiful Japanese kimono. Yet European women can achieve practically the same effect with Western adaptations of the Oriental styles. From India and Thailand, glitteringly smart evening dresses, glamorous and sophisticated for every formal occasion. 
and from Japan, a brocade sheath dress with matching coat. Highlight of some of these costumes is the exquisite embroidery in Lurex. In fact, this fine workmanship is one of the reasons why the couture models displayed are worth many thousands of pounds and why the show is one of the most expensive ever staged, in striking contrast to the cheapness of the yarn itself, which is well within the scope of every woman. Going back for a moment to Lurex itself, the delicate embroidery is another indication of its tremendous versatility. Actually, the secret lies in the width in which the yarn is made. The finest for use in sheer fabrics, and the heaviest for furnishings and upholstery. Yet surprisingly, in view of its toughness, the yarn doesn't feel coarse. The embroidery on a towel, for example, being as soft as the towel itself. So that costumes like these are as gentle to the skin as any other material. Among its many other virtues, Lurex is unaffected by sunlight or salt water, which makes it a most practical medium for the swimsuit. Although probably more important, if we know women, it looks nice. Especially the shimmering effect in water. From the United States comes this model in paisley screen print on silver Lurex lame, while from the continent comes this glamorous Italian white and gold play suit and gold lame beach cape with hood. Gone are the days when cocktail parties and similar functions were a constant nightmare to women for fear of ruining an expensive gown. For today, Lurex is an inexpensive way of giving a luxurious tone to other textiles, at the same time being easy to clean, either by ordinary washing or dry cleaning, depending on the other fibers used in the material. Incidentally, we mustn't overlook this lovely dress in which connoisseurs of international haute couture will have noticed the brilliant touch of Italian designer Antonelli. Great Britain is ably represented by this ball gown in peacock blue and gold brocade by Victor Stiebel. Norman Hartnell illustrates the versatility of the yarn with this evening gown in pink and gold embossed nylon and lurex sheer and matching plain fabric. Paris and the house of Jacques Vatt comes this short evening dress and matching coat. Strangely enough, Lurex was discovered literally by accident. It originated in the Cleveland laboratories of the Debeckman Company, who are in fact packaging specialists, as a development of the tear tape used to open the cellophane covering of cigarette cartons. After experimentation, the possibilities of adapting this tape for use in textiles were realized. And 10 years ago, the product was launched on the American market. Today, it is used in 63 different countries. By the way, in this evening dress and shawl from Ireland, the yarn has been interwoven with a traditional Irish tweed. Germany comes this elegant grey and gold matelassé cocktail suit. The idea of a metallic finish to fabrics is not in itself particularly new, and at one time coloured tinsel yarns were introduced. But Lurex is a considerable improvement, never tarnishing or smelling of metal. Moreover, there's no possibility of clothes, like this evening coat from France in gold and silver matelassé by Jean de Say, being harsh on the skin. British fashions easily hold their own with the competition from overseas, and with this Digby Morton short evening dress in white and silver brocade with trimmed pink satin, it's not difficult to see why. Representing the elite fashion group from France is this evening dress in honey silk and gold brocade by Jeanne Lain Van Castillo. Very lovely, isn't it? 
but in addition to its use in woven fabrics, Lurex can be used for embroidery, as you've seen, for knitted jersey fabrics and for laces. And this American-style evening gown illustrates this important development. Notice the surprisingly effective contrast of black lace with jet Lurex over black velvet. The idea of an international fair, which is expected to be shown shortly, at least in part, in Holland, Belgium, Australia, and several other countries, was conceived in an effort to benefit the countries using Lurex from an interchange of ideas on its application. In fact, there's no doubt that as a result, designers have been stimulated by some of the ingenious uses to which the yarn has been put in the past two years. In the near future, we can expect many new adaptations of foreign ideas in fashion, the home, and even in industry. This interchange of ideas, of course, benefits everyone concerned. After all, few ideas are really original, and even costumes representing a specific country may have been inspired by a local or native characteristic. This American casual cocktail dress, for example, is Mexican-inspired. Talking about American styles, the hand-woven black and white tweed fabric by Dorothy Liebs, worn here as an evening toga or wrap, might also be seen as an attractive, and highly popular in the United States, furnishing fabric. An example of how Lurex embroidery can heighten the impact of even fabulous gowns like these can be seen to its best advantage on this Michael Sherrard evening dress in fine wool, the embroidery done in various colors. Looking at creations like these, each with an individual loveliness of its own, and each with a common beautifying denominator, the metallic yarn, it's strange that the fabrics are all essentially different in composition. And this is another reason for the fair, so that traditional textiles not widely known outside their own countries would come to the knowledge of possible users in other parts of the world, subsequently stimulating trade generally in textiles. So the audience continues to be thrilled by a fashion parade that has all the ingredients of an unforgettable occasion. Haute couture created by the world's top designers, the most beautiful models, and a product that is itself exquisite. In the American range of costumes, emphasis has been made on a new development, Lurex MM, metallic mylar or melinex, which has tremendous strength as well as startling brilliance. For the period when for many hundreds of years gold and silver threads symbolized luxury and royalty has disappeared. Today, Lurex has captured that quality and brought it to within the means of everyone. Practical as well as inexpensive, for its beauty is as everlasting as the fabric into which it is woven, Lurex is finding a place in every home. Today, Lurex is part of this progressive civilization and its future is as glowing as its heritage. <laughs>